Justin Bieber confuses fans with weird comments. Eminem gets dragged over insensitive Ariana Grande and Manchester lyrics. And Ariana Grande sued by an artist over Seven Rings. Ooh, lots of Ari news. All that and more on today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. What is up, you guys? TGIF, welcome back. It's Friday, it's yes. DHR. We are ready for some news. Emil, I'm Susan Morad. I'm Emil Ennis Jr. And uh, I'm just so happy that it's Friday. Friday. Fun fact, Susan knows, everyone knows, I'm about to go on vacation <laughs> yes. for two weeks. So I'm extremely happy. Um, but yes. then I'll be back and celebrate with everyone here. Of course. And also, the two weeks that Emil's away, we're going to have Drew, Sinead, mm -hmm. and Aaron dropping in to fill in. So make sure you stay tuned to DHR. Yes. Um, but you guys, so you stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button right yes. there. If you never have before, Friday's like a great day to do It really things, is a know? great day. Out of all the days of the week, I think Friday's like, they were like, hmm, I think I'll subscribe today. Yes. But also click that bell and leave a comment in the comment section below. But enough of all of that, we have so much tea to get into, mm. starting with Ariana Grande getting sued again. Ariana Grande is being sued. An artist named Josh Stone, who goes by the name Dot, claims that Ariana stole the hook for his song, You Need It, I Got It. He released the song in November 2017. Now he's claiming their songs are identical. Now, we're sure you're familiar with the part of Ari's song that goes, I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. Well, Dot's song is pretty similar with the lyrics. You need it, I got it. You want it, I got it. Adding insult to injury, Josh Stone claims that he met with executives and producers at Universal Music Group, which coincidentally is the same company that released Seven Rings. Stone said he specifically had a meeting with Tommy Brown about his song, You Need It, I Got It. Allegedly, Brown liked the song when it was pitched to him. If that name sounds familiar to you guys, it's because Tommy Brown worked on all five of Ariana's albums. And this is a problem. Stone is claiming Brown flat out stole the riff and repackaged it for Seven Rings. According to the lawsuit, quote, literally every single one of the 39 respective notes of Seven Rings is identical with the 39 notes of I Got It from a metrical placement perspective. Said another way, the rhythm and placement of the notes and lyrics are identical. According to reports, he's asking the court for several things, including declaratory judgment of copyright infringement, damages and profits attributable to the infringement and attorney's fees and other related costs. With this situation, I don't fault Ari at all. It seems like, you know, if he met with somebody in her team and mm. they are the ones who like heard it and everything, then I don't really blame Ari. No. Um, I do hope that everything is solved and, you know, we'll see what happens with this. Um, but on a side note, it is so hard to read these legal words. Whenever we have to do any scripts <laughs> yeah. or anything that have legal terms in there, <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're out of your eye. <laughs> um, but back to just that point as well. One of the things we've talked about a bunch of times here when these sort of stories come up, the teams of people are so big yeah. when they're working on music and you never know like who might have met with someone and talked to someone and sometimes they don't even realize. Right. Sometimes they like they, they, they maybe have forgotten. I'm giving people the benefit of the doubt yeah. here, I know that. But like sometimes you might think of something and you don't actually realize you've actually heard it before because we hum sometimes and don't realize don't know where it came and, from. And, yeah. yeah. So that's not the only Ari news because actually we have a lot of music news today which mm. we'll get into later. But one of the things that came out today was that that Eminem actually dropped a surprise album and Ariana Grande fans are really upset and I'll tell you why. So the album is titled Music To Be Murdered By. Now of course we know that Eminem is not afraid of controversy and having lyrics that get people talking and it's happened again with this new song Unaccommodating that has Ariana Grande fans furious. So some of the lyrics that riled fans up were quote, but I'm contemplating yelling bombs away on the game like I'm outside of an Ariana Grande concert waiting. Here comes Saddam Hussein. People are not happy at all. There are so many tweets slamming him like this one that says, Eminem literally just made a joke about the Manchester bombing at Ariana Grande's concert. This is just so f sick. Y'all better not give this man any attention. People literally lost their lives and you're going to release music and try to make profit off of them? Then someone else said, Eminem set bombs away like I'm outside an Ariana concert and then put an explosion sound. And this person said, Eminem is a washed up has-been. That Ariana lyric of his is just a pathetic attempt to get attention. But Feigen Murray, who is the mother of Martin Hett, who was one of the victims of the Manchester bombing, took to her Twitter to speak out and said, okay, I just watched the 11 minute clip, 
feels like he is piggybacking on the fame of Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber and says this tasteful thing about other celebrities, not clever, totally pointless, and before all Eminem fans pounce on me, I am not interested and will not engage. But not everyone is dragging him. Of course, he has his own fans and stands, like this one who tweeted, while you're dragging Eminem for that Ariana verse, I'll just leave this here, with a photo of an old tweet that shows how Eminem helped raise money for Manchester. But that didn't stop people from dragging him, though, like this person who said, Eminem stands are really trying to defend his joke about a terrorist attack that killed 22 people and gave Ariana PTSD literally by. I mean, with this one, obviously I do understand that Eminem can be controversial and he is known to pretty much speak his mind and do lyrics or say lyrics that will get people riled up. This one in particular bothers me yes. a lot. I mean, I don't think it was necessary. There could have been another way to say it. So I understand where fans and even people who aren't fans of Ari are coming from, like yeah. even the, the mother, you know? Yeah, I agree with you on this one. It bothers me personally a lot to see that in a song because Eminem is known to have lyrics to create conversation, controversy mm -hmm. and drama. It's not the first time this has happened right. to him, but this has just taken it too far personally, in my opinion because it is a really serious issue and people lost their lives and like you said, it's not needed. Yeah. All right guys, it's time for one of our favorite segments, You're So Clever. clever. You're so clever. Yeah. You're so clever. You're so clever. You're so this so is where clever. we highlight like all of our favorite comments from the week. So we're gonna kick it off with TJ Smith who said, Y'all are both awesome and bring the tea with all its typing hot goodness. No matter the time I tune in. Yes. yes. Morning, day, <laughs> night, we have the tea. And Shinka KV says, you guys are so beautiful and have a great sense of style too. Emil, I couldn't see the locket properly. And also Susan, I would love to see your hair up or any other style. You always, <laughs> you always have down. I watch your DHR every day. Love you guys. Love from Kerala, India. Next week, I'm gonna put my hair up. And look, I'm wearing it today, so you can see. It's an E. Yeah, I have a smaller one, I have a bigger one. I've been wearing the bigger one recently. I don't always have my hair up, ever have it up, because I get headaches, because it's long, and it just, uh, yeah, after like a few hours, I'm like, ugh, but. Next week, I'm gonna try. Snowflake Buttons World says, I love DHR, it's my daily ritual to watch with my rabbit. Tell your rabbit hello. Hello. Bazy says, love Clever, I've been a diehard fan from the start. Watch you guys every day, the perfect blend of entertainment and unbiased news with a positive spin. Aw, that Thank means you. so much to me and to Emil. Leonella Smith, I wait all day to always watch DHR. Love you both, Emil and Susan. Okay, fun fact. I saw this comment, it made me smile, but also if you don't know, DHR comes out between 5 and 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time every single day, so I hope you're not really waiting all day. <laughs> if you want to know the specific time it comes out, it's Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But then it's up forever. Right, right. <laughs> also, we had a lot of fun comments on Monday's DHR, like Kian Alesta, Kiki98, hope I said that right, who said, LOL, yes, you guys need to Vogue when doing the Monday DHR song. I can't do it. <laughs> We're gonna wait till Monday. Camille Gerard said, I've been treating my severe depression for years now and every week. The best part of it is the Monday DHR song. Aww. And last but not least, Miriam Montessor said, that was dope. Best Monday DHR until now in 2020. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much guys for leaving your comments. And you know what? You're so You're clever. You're so clever. <laughs> All right, so moving on to some Justin Bieber news. Now, arguably he's still one of the biggest pop stars mm -hmm on the planet yeah. and I can't imagine what it's like for fans getting to actually chat to him yeah. on the phone, on a live. Well, there is a video that just surfaced that has a lot of people really confused. Let us explain. Well, one lucky believer had the opportunity to chat with Justin via a Instagram live, but fans are so confused by Justin's response. And we're gonna go ahead and just throw this into one of our favorite segments, WTF OMG, because this definitely made us go WTF OMG. Well, Justin and Haley were chatting with a fan and it starts off pretty normal. Take a look. We appreciate it. Haley loves you too. <laughs> Haley, hi, I love you. I love you. Aww. Look at how cute she is. So before we get into what really had people talking, some people on Twitter were commenting about Haley being on her phone. One person simply tweeted, Haley doesn't give a sh and this person tweeted, not Haley's so cute while looking at her phone. <laughs> but that's not all that people were talking about. The conversation continues and Justin tries to wrap up the conversation, but it's the last couple of seconds that had people like, huh? Have an awesome rest of your day, okay? Yeah, uh, it's night actually. It's well, night. Have a great rest of your night then. It's 1.15 a.m. Oh my God. Oh, sick. Hi. Okay, go cry yourself to sleep, okay? So this account reposted the video and said, why did he tell her that? And people totally agree. Like this person that says, 
why would he say such a thing like that, WTF? Or this person who said, I'm so uncomfortable with this. And this person said, when Justin Bieber said, hey, go cry yourself to sleep, okay? I really felt that. It was weird. It was really weird. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think that it was necessarily rude. I think you could tell it was in a, a joking manner. And he was, I don't know, it was kind of rude because he was, she was, she was just excited. And she was trying to get off. He was trying to get off the phone, but she like kept talking it a little just, bit. It was just weird. It was really weird. It was really odd. Yeah. I was looking. I was like those people. I was watching the whole clip, and then I got to the end, and it was like a, it felt like a slap in the face yeah. to me <laughs> watching it. I was like, whoa, where did that come from? Didn't see that coming because it was such a sweet gesture that yeah. he was chatting with a fan, and she was crying. Um, but I was looking at the comments and some people were saying, oh, I love that, you know, Justin can have that kind of relationship with believers. Mm -hmm. You know, saying that, like, going back to your point where maybe he was just having fun, but it was really odd. Go cry yourself to sleep. All right, Emil, it is time for the vinyl rundown. rundown. Don't know what that accent was, but kicking it off with our very first story, uh, Vanessa and Austin, we know news broke earlier this week about their breakup mm -hmm. and more details are coming out. And as if the breakup wasn't hard enough, Apparently marriage was talked about. A source told people that they talked about an engagement before they split up. To be honest, we're not terribly surprised there was talk of an engagement because they were dating for almost nine years. Yeah, but we have to talk about another relationship because Dove Cameron's ex fiance Ryan McCartan, actually got on Instagram um, yesterday and he accused Dove of cheating. So during a Q&A last night, a fan asked, what's your proudest moment? He said, within two weeks, my fiance cheated on me and left me. I almost died from food poisoning and Donald Trump was elected president. I truly didn't think I would be able to make it through that part of my life. But Dove took to her Twitter after and retweeted a quote saying, when a toxic person can no longer control you, they will try to control how others see you. The misinformation will feel unfair, but stay above it, trusting that other people will eventually see the truth. The tea of it all. Yeah, the tea of it all. <laughs> now moving on to new music because we did mention earlier yeah. that we've got tons of new music news. We wanted to specifically tell you some things that were released including a new song and music video from the Jonas Brothers that includes all the wives, Halsey's new album Manic and Mac Miller's posthumous album Circles. It's really heartwarming but also like emotional and sad hearing new music from Mac. Yeah but fans are really enjoying it so far and um, it's, it's definitely sad but also it gives you a little bit of something because you still get to hear something new yeah. from one of your favorite artists. All right, guys, that's a wrap on today's episode of the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I want to know what you think about this whole Eminem lyric situation. Were you offended? Let us know in the comment section below. Yes, and also, what are your thoughts on that Justin Bieber clip? I want to know what you were thinking when you saw that. Did you think it came off rude or do you think he was just having some fun? What are your thoughts? Chat it out in the comment section below. And we'll be back here tomorrow. Celebrity lowdown. lowdown, yes. <laughs> But guys, before you go, why don't you click right over there to watch yesterday's episode of DHR. Yeah, and you might as well hit that subscribe button because that way you won't miss a single thing and you don't want to miss anything, right? Oh.